Hi guys, it's Yannick. Um, good morning. Um, I'm back to my confessions of a reluctant dance mom. And um, during our recent trip to London, I had an opportunity to do something for Emilia, which um, I think when parents, we get an opportunity to do something special for our kids, we always take it, right? Um, so we were gonna go have dinner in a place in Covent Garden in a little re a Belgian restaurant. And my sister told me that Pineapple Dance Studios, um, which is a dance studio where they made a British TV series several years ago, um, was around the corner and didn't we want to go check it out. So Emilia and I walked over and there's a big window on the side of the building and you could see the people dancing. And um, I could see the gleam in Emilia's eyes as she watched this girl dancing. She was doing sort of a jazz funk kind of dance and she really, I mean, this was this was an adult and she really was quite awesome. And I could see Emilia wanted to be in there so badly. But it was a Friday night, it was complicated, you know, plus we didn't know how things worked. But um, we decided to walk in and ask and see what would be the possibilities of Emilia doing a class the next day or when there would be another class that maybe she could join in. And lucky for us, they told us that the next day she could come and do any of the classes. They do a lot of drop-in classes. And it wasn't even very expensive. I mean, you know, well, at least in pounds, it didn't sound so expensive. I guess when you convert it into dollars, it's a little more expensive. But regardless, um, we planned it. You know, so when she even said what she liked to do, they told her, oh, you should come to this class. They gave her recommendations. And so we planned that the next day on Saturday afternoon, we were gonna go so that she could do a class. Now, Saturday morning, we had a tour of Westminster Abbey planned. So as the five of us go to Westminster Abbey, we start our tour and they give you these audio recording things that are kind of like a phone and you can listen to each recording as you go walking through each section of Westminster Abbey. And Westminster Abbey is huge. All the coronations are done there. It's, it's an amazing uh, place. But um, Emilia and I did the Express Westminster Abbey tour. I did listen to everything. We did see everything, but we cruised through Westminster Abbey because at 1245, her class was at two. At 1245, she was already starting to say, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. And I knew that that's all she really wanted to do. You know, and so if I could please her that way, then why not do it? So we found her father and brother, and then we found Manuela, who was lost on her own too, and told him we're leaving. And so Emilia and I took off. We walked through Parliament Street, we were asking everybody, but here was something kind of cool. It was the Queen's birthday that Saturday. And so we got, had an opportunity to see the flyovers, Parliament Street, which was pretty impressive, um, and something that, we wouldn't have seen if we had been in Westminster Abbey. So the rest of the family missed it, but we got to see that. But we kept asking everybody, how do we get to Pineapple Studios? How do we get to Covent Garden? Walking, 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 cruising, cruising, cruising. And we finally got there. Then you're thinking, well, how does she have clothes to do this? Well, she had packed leggings and you know, they're not dumb. They have a shop next door. So Emilia got her t-shirt, she got a sports bra, she had her leggings, we went in, she signed up, and we waited. And um, she was able to do a class called Commercial Street with uh, the teacher there is Lil J, and she's one of the founders of the studio. She's been there since the beginning. And, um, and I was very lucky because I got to stand at the door and watch the entire time while she was doing her class. But what was most exciting for me, and it's not because I'm her mother, but she really was the best one there. She really was getting that choreograph, choreography, however you say that, perfectly. I mean, she was on, I mean, I don't know if it's a Miami thing that they have a little more sass because maybe because, you know, she's part Cuban, I don't know. But um, she really was the best one there and I was so proud of her. And what was the best part was that I felt so blessed and so lucky that I was able to give my daughter the opportunities to do something that she loves. I mean, here we were in London and Emilia got to do something that she's dreamed about. I mean, and, and when you get an opportunity to do something like that, you have to take advantage. And, and that I think goes for parents, if you can offer that to your children or even for ourselves. If there's an opportunity, if an opportunity presents itself, then we kind of have to run with it, don't we? But, um, 
it was just such a special moment for um, Emilia and I and Manuela I think was a little disappointed later that she didn't do it too because she had decided she didn't want to do it she wasn't into the commercial street but you know it's funny the other day we were at the dance studio and um, they showed their jazz funk teacher and Manuela had already learned the choreography so I guess she wished she had done it too but it really was a special moment and I just wanted to share it and I'm going to have it in my blog later so check it out thanks <laughs>